Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of servers, a crucial component in cybersecurity and IT infrastructure. Whether you're just starting out in cybersecurity or you've been in the game for a while, knowing your way around different types of servers is a must. So let's dive into the top six most commonly used server types. Number one on our list, the web server. A web server is the backbone of the internet. Web servers typically use port 80 for HTTP and port 443 for HTTPS. It handles HTTP and HTTPS requests from clients, like your browser, and sends back the requested web pages. Think of it as a digital library that delivers the right books or web pages when you search for them online. Apache and Nginx are some of the well-known web servers out there. They're widely used and highly reliable options for hosting websites. When you visit Amazon.com to shop online, a web server is delivering all the product pages you see. Next up, we have the mail server. This server manages and transfers emails. It uses protocols like SMTP port 25, IMAP port 143, and POP3 port 110. If you've ever used email, you've interacted with a mail server. Some well-known examples of email servers are Microsoft Exchange and Postfix. These are widely used and trusted in various organizations. When you send an email through Gmail or Outlook, their mail servers are at work ensuring your message gets to the recipient. Number three is the DNS server, or Domain Name System Server. This server translates human-friendly domain names into IP addresses that computers use to identify each other on the network and typically communicate using port 53. Imagine it as the Internet's phone book, helping you connect to websites by their names rather than complex numbers. Some popular examples of DNS servers are Behind and Microsoft DNS. When you type google.com into your browser, a DNS server translates that into Google's IP address so you can access their services. Fourth on the list is the proxy server. It acts as an intermediary between clients and the Internet, providing anonymity and security. Proxy servers can cache content to improve load times and filter requests to block malicious traffic and usually operate on port 8080. Common examples of proxy servers include Squid and HAProxy. These tools are widely used and can be really helpful in managing network traffic. Many schools and businesses use proxy servers to restrict access to certain websites and monitor internet usage. Coming in at number 5, we have the FTP server, or File Transfer Protocol server. This server allows for the transfer of files between computers over a network. It's especially useful for sharing large files securely. FTP servers use port 21 for command control and port 20 for data transfer. Some popular FTP servers that you might come across are VSFTPD and FileZilla server. They're widely used and highly reliable. Web developers often use FTP servers to upload and download website files during development and maintenance. Last but not least, the Origin server. This server is the source of content for CDNs, or Content Delivery Networks. When you access a website, the content might be served from a CDN, but it originates from the origin server. It's crucial for delivering content efficiently and securely. Origin servers typically use the same ports as web servers, 80 and 443. Commonly used origin servers include Nginx and Apache. For example, when you stream a video on Netflix, the initial content comes from their origin servers before being distributed through various CDNs. And there you have it, the top six most commonly used server types. Each server plays a vital role in the digital world, ensuring seamless communication, data transfer, and content delivery. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity content. Thanks for watching and stay secure.